Hi everyone and welcome to my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create custom wavetables in VPS Avenger. Because even though this synth comes with plenty of great stock wavetables, sometimes you want to create your own ones. So let's get to work. Before we will dive into the Avenger, we need to pick the sample that we want to turn into wavetable. So here's the sample that I've picked. It's nothing special, but it has some nice complex wave shapes inside. So let's move that sample to the side. Let's open Avenger. And the uh, first step that we want to take inside Avenger is to turn our oscillator to resample mode. And we're doing that by double clicking this um, waveform name and now double clicking resample and make sure to double click it because when you click it once it ain't gonna work. So I double click it and as you can see I got this drop sample here saying so we're going to do exactly what it tells us to do. I'm gonna drag the sample here. Great. Now as you can see the sample was loaded to Avenger. We can see its waveform here and let me explain you a little bit what's going on here. So basically the whole sample has this green highlighting for now and this highlighting indicates which part of the sample will be turned into wavetable. So basically you can see that our sample has some silence at the start and some silence at the end and we basically don't want it to get to our wavetable, right? And as it is highlighted for now, it will get to our wavetable. So we need to trim that silence somehow. And to do that, we need to grab this orangey line, grab it in the middle and move it so it aligns with the very start of our sample. And make sure to grab the middle of it because when you grab the top of it, it's gonna act as a fade in. So you yeah, grab it at the middle and move it more or less on uh, the sample start. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell if it's already aligned with the sample start. So we can zoom in using a mouse roll. And as you zoom close enough, you will see that the line that is representing our sample is actually thicker than the line representing silence. So we can use that to precisely fine tune this line position. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna zoom out. And once we set this starting position, we're gonna set the root node of our sample. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click this C1 and it open, opens up a quite big drop down menu with three octaves of nodes, of root nodes to choose. So even though I know my sample's root node is E, I still don't know which E should I choose because there is E1, E2 and E3. So let's try with E1, let's choose it. Okay, and now maybe you remember that earlier I've mentioned these thin vertical lines uh, and basically what they're doing is they are showing us the width of the wavetable's window. So the distance between each two of these vertical lines is a single window and we need to fit to that window a whole wave cycle. So as you can see for now, we are not fitting the whole wave cycle into a single window because between these two lines we only can fit a half of that wave cycle. So we need to change our root node and since we got E1 
set right now. Let's try E2. And now, as you can see, the whole waveform cycle fits into a window. So that's the root node that we want to stick with. But let me try E3 also, just for education purposes. So as you can see, this gives us way too wide window. So let's get back to E2. And now that we got our root node set, let's trim that ending silence. And we're doing that by dragging down this num wave snob. And uh, at the beginning, when you're gonna uh, drag it down, you may not notice any effect. But as you drag it further, you will see that we are actually moving this line by dragging this knob. And that line is basically like this line represents the start of our wavetable, and this line represents the end of our wavetable. So let's align this line with the sample's ending. So I'm gonna tweak it perfect. Now, as you can see, we just trimmed the silence from the start and from the end and whole sample is highlighted. So now we can listen what we got so far. In order to do that, I'm gonna switch to keyboard view and let's try. Okay, let's try lower note. So one thing that you may notice is that it's quite slower than our original sample. Here's our origi original sample. So it's quite fast. And let me play the wave table again. Yeah, so we can fix that by speeding up the playback. So I'm gonna boost this knob a bit. Okay, so it's much closer. And by the way, uh, don't worry about this speed knob much because it ain't gonna be safe with our wavetable. It's only for like uh, preview playback purposes. Okay, so we fixed that problem. Now our wavetable is pretty, I mean our wavetable speed is pretty close to the sample speed. Uh, but there's one more problem. So when I play it back again, we can definitely hear some buzzing. So we can fix this by dragging up this little knob. I'm gonna drag it to like 30 to start. And it basically deleted or smoothed out the buzzing. But I'm gonna drag it even further. Okay, it's pretty good now. We smoothed that buzzing. You can try out also two other smoothing methods or smoothing algorithms if you want. However, usually I'm using ADAPT because I find it uh, as the most transparent one. Right, so now that we trimmed the silence, we choose the right root node. We also uh, got rid of the buzzing. Now our wavetable is pretty much ready to export. So uh, in order to export or save our wavetable, we need to use something that is called Avenger expansion. And by default, you should have this factory expansion, but uh, I think that would be really silly to save our wavetable here in this factory expansion. That's why we're gonna create a new ex expansion. So to do that, just right click anywhere here in this content tab. So now I'm gonna right click here and now click this create new customer expansion. Uh, and here you can see that it asks us for the name of the expansion that we want to create. I'm gonna call it just like maybe um, YouTube tutorial expansion. 
and now hit enter to confirm great now scroll down to find that expansion here we got our expansion now right click it and click browser folder with explorer and now double click here Ctrl A to select the whole path, Ctrl C to copy that, close this and now hit that little export button and make sure that you are not in keyboard uh, view, click this waveform view to switch to waveform and click that little export button. Now paste the copied path here with Control v hit enter and as you can see now we are inside the youtube tutorial expansion we're gonna move to the wavetable folder and let's type the name of our wavetable so i'm gonna call it custom wavetable tutorial and hit enter to confirm and now we can initialize our oscillator double click this waveform name go to wavetables find our expansion and here we can see that we can load our wavetable that we just created so let me play it back for you and uh, as you can see the speed was not um, saved with the wavetable so we can boost it up so as you can hear we got our wavetable ready to use in our custom presets and just to compare it with the original sample here's our original sample again and here's our wavetable so yeah that would be it thank you for watching and if you like it please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like and commenting yeah thank you again and see you soon bye